Hello and welcome back to the third year statistics course with QGIS on R. The main topic of this course is structural analysis for Kriegen co Kriegen interpolation. This is just a summary of the seventh lesson of the course, and today we are going to see how to model the experimental semi variogram associated with geometric and sonal anisotropy. At the previous lesson, we modeled the experimental semi-variogram in two directions, 30 degrees and 120 degrees. The 30 degrees, it was the direction with the maximum spatial continuity, and the 120 degrees, it was the orthogonal direction to the maximum spatial continuity. Also, we created the variogram map and we draw the ellipsoids associated with the geometric and sonal anisotropy. At the end, we plot the two experimental variograms together and we saw what is the relation between them. We are going to start the seventh lesson of the course creating a script to model the geometric anisotropy. Then in that script, we have to indicate what is the main direction of anisotropy and also the ratio. Remember that we was talking about these two parameters in the previous lesson. We are going to create two different versions of the same script to have different type of graph, but both graphs are going to show the same information. One is going to be with GStats and the other one is going to be with ggplot2. Later, we are going to work with the script to model the sonal anisotropy. Then we are going to create two different scripts. One is going to be to visualize the experimental semi-variogram and also the model. And the other one is going to see just to visualize the model, the structure of the model. Remember that in order to work with uh, sonal anisotropy, we need to work with nested variograms. It means that we are going to plus the different structures associated with the different experimental semi-variogram models. Later, we are going to create three different maps associated with Kriegen interpolation. Remember that this lesson is not about the methodology of the Kriegen interpolation. It's about how to model the, the anisotropy. But in this case, I want to show you how different are going to be the maps associated, for example, with a model that is omnidirectional with an other model that is going to be directional. All three maps are going to be based on ordinary Kriegen, as we are assuming that our data is stationary. To create the first map, we are going to use the experimental semivariogram model. It means that we are not going to take in consideration any anisotropy. For the second map, we are going to use the model associated with the geometric anisotropy. Then in this case, we are going to use a directional experimental semivariogram. And the last one is going to be also a directional experimental semivariogram model. But in this case, we are going to use the script associated with the sonal anisotropy. At the end of the video, we are going to make a comparison between the three models. In this case, we are not going to decide what is the best model because that is going to be part of the next lesson associated with the cross validation. But just in this video, we are going to see how they look like, right? How different they are. Remember that in this case, we created a map where we are showing the scene concentration, but the scene concentration is in logarithmic base 10. Then if we want to remove this logarithmic with base 10 in order to show just the scene concentration in PPM, then we have to make a transformation of the final raster. 
if you don't know how to do that kind of things i created a video that you can watch it totally for free at the geo rgv community youtube channel well that's the end of the summary of this uh, seventh lesson of the course remember that if you want to have full access to the course just go to the geo rgv community website at gscourse.online then go to the tab courses select the third geostatistic course structural analysis for krigin co krigin is this one over here then get enrolled when you get enrolled you can start the course and here you are going to see all the lessons that we low added already the summary for today it was about the lesson number seven geometric and sonar anisotropy as you can see the total content of this lesson it's about one hour also here you have the file to download all the scripts that we was using at the lesson and if you have any question and you are enrolled in this course you can leave your question here and i will respond all the questions and also if you are pretty active you can leave any comment at the group section we have different forums for the different courses then you you can go here to groups uh, select the course in this case for example could be this one then join the group and you can leave any comment here at the at the forum okay also you can visit our facebook page that is a uh, geo rgv community we are posting here some content that you are not going to find in youtube or even at the website and also we are posting here all the updates related with the courses and etc and also you can watch our youtube channel geo rgv and that's it for today i'm going to leave this uh, YouTube short to finish that video. See you on the next video. Shut my